Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get a man to commit to you, the five pillars of commitment. Um, a lot of women think that men are commitment phobic, and, and there's, there's some truth to that. Men are somewhat afraid of commitment, but they have really good reasons to be commitment phobic. And, um, you know, a lot of times falling in love isn't the only thing that a man needs in order to commit to a woman. And so um, if you want to a man to commit to you, then you need to understand what he needs in order to commit to you. And so these are kind of the five pillars. These are the five pillars that you need to do if you want a man to commit to you. And so the first one is keep a separate life, keep a life that's separate from the relationship. Um, so one of the biggest mistakes that women make is that they commit to a man before he decides that she is the right woman. If you commit to a guy before he thinks that you're the right woman to be with, um, then you're going to be committed alone. You're not going to be, he's not going to be committed. You are, and that doesn't turn out very well because it ends up making a guy uh, feel like you're needy. And so what you need to do is uh, not only not commit to him immediately, um, but also kind of have, keep your life, their separate life. A lot of women, like they, they just give themselves to that relationship and it's, um, and, and it's not healthy in any way. Um, it may seem noble, but it's not healthy, and it doesn't make him want to commit to you and stay committed to you. So keep a separate life, you know, keep friends outside the relationship, you know, do things outside the relationship. Um, you know, you can even date um, until he's committed to you, uh, date other people. Um, you know, but make sure that you're open about it and that you're honest about it and that you're not hiding anything. Uh, so the second pillar is creating and maintaining boundaries. So men value women who value themselves. Um, and, you know, it may seem like a, a lot of women have a hard time saying no to men. Um, but if you let a guy walk all over you, uh, walk all over you, he'll end up leaving you eventually. Um because you don't value yourself. And so you need to value yourself because he will value you more when you value yourself. And you want to, if you want to know more about creating and maintaining boundaries, I have a uh, video and podcasts and stuff that go over that topic. So you can go and search for that. Um, the third pillar is to allow him to invest time, energy, and emotion into the relationship. So a lot of times women will, you know, they'll commit to the relationship and then they go into this like, you know, uh, high gear where they're like taking control of everything and planning everything and planning the dates and doing everything. And, and he doesn't feel committed to the relationship, he doesn't feel invested. He hasn't invested time and energy and effort. And that's what he needs in order to commit. He needs to invest um, because that that's what makes him feel like he's a part of the relationship. If he doesn't do those things, he won't commit no matter what else you do. So he needs to feel invested in a relationship. So let him invest, encourage him to pursue you, encourage him to invest. Um, and I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about energy, I'm talking about emotion, I'm talking about time. Um, men don't commit for your reasons, they commit for their reasons. And that's a huge mistake that a lot of women make is they think, oh, well, I'm in love, I'm committed, he should be committed. But, you know, you need to respect what he wants and what his reasons are. Otherwise, again, you'll be committed by yourself. And you obviously don't want that. Nobody wants that. Um, so the next one is to make him feel safe enough to emotionally connect with you. Um, you know, and, and uh, the whole falling in love thing, you know, I, when I say that it's that's not all that matters for a man, it's not, but it's important. And a guy, it's kind of like the first step, right? Like he has to feel emotionally connected to you. He has to fall in love with you. 
Um, and the way that he falls in love with you is uh, feeling like he can be safe, like he's safe to emotionally open up and connect with you without getting hurt by you. And, and a lot of women uh, kind of put down men or, you know, they see guys like making fun of each other. And so they think that they should do that because they see guys doing it to each other. But um, if a guy wants guy friends, he'll make guy friends. Right. If he wants a woman in his life, then he'll want a woman, not another guy. And, you know, when you're making fun of guys and, you know, and you're making fun of the guy that you're with, um, it'll make him feel like he can't really open up to you emotionally. You know, he needs somebody that's on his side. He needs somebody who's there with him in this journey of his life, um, figuring things out. And, you know, you can be that one for him. And lastly, the last thing that he needs is he needs to, uh, he needs an alignment. He needs you to align with his life and his values. You know, a lot of people talk about uh, like commonalities. Oh, we need to have commonalities together. You know, um, you can have as many commonalities as you want with a guy, but if your values aren't in alignment, you know, if if you, uh, um if you guys don't see the same on important topics to each other, then things will fall apart no matter how many commonalities you have together. And uh, I actually saw that in a friend of mine's relationship really recently. He, um, they had tons, the reason they got together was because they had so many commonalities and they're just like, oh yeah, we're just constantly doing things together and we're always together and we're doing all this stuff. And they ended up bro breaking up because you know, she was getting drunk all the time and, you know, running around and, you know, flirting with guys. And he's like, hey, I want something serious here. And, um, you know, and they just weren't in alignment. He couldn't see himself being with her in a long term uh, relationship. He couldn't see them being together in the far distant future, which is what a man needs to be able to see in order to have the desire to commit to you. So that's it for this video. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.